Morning guys, welcome to Improve My Golf and today I'm heading down to a tournament over at Blackburn Golf Club just waiting for Peter Finch to pick me up. I'm playing, I think we're playing together, 8 o'clock in the morning so this is early, the time now is 6.05, Finch is 5 minutes late. Anyway, looking forward to getting out of the golf course, been playing alright to be fair, the last two weeks I've had a bit more time to play some golf and it's been going well. I think I'm kind of starting to come into a little bit of form, so hopefully I'm not jinxing that right now before I head out to the golf course. Never want to take it for granted. So I'm going to go out and play the best possible golf I can try and play. If you checked out our last video, I was chipping over at Stockport Golf Club doing some practice for an up and coming tournament, which was the next day. Unfortunately, I had to pull out because it was the morning after the horrific Manchester terror attacks and my fiance was in Manchester at the time due to obviously security and police lockdown I literally couldn't get her out of town until 4am so I got home at 4am she was very shook up so rather than get up at 7 and go and play a tournament I cancelled and just kind of spent the day with, with her she was obviously feeling very vulnerable and upset so not played probably for a I haven't played for a while, competition wise. Must be a couple of months. So, it's good to get a card back in hand. Open qualifying to the 26th. I want to try and get in a few tournaments before then. I just want to play tournaments in general. I'm not really looking to put all my eggs into the open qualifying basket, so to speak. So, I just want to get out and play a lot more golf, a lot more tournaments. Enjoying it at the moment, playing well. Let's see what occurs. Right, first hole out the way. Playing with this man in front. <laughs> Here he is. I didn't realize you actually brought the camera. Oh yeah, of course I have. Oh man. <laughs> so, not the ideal start. Drivable par four, so we both, I both pulled out driver. I went into there, found it, chipped out, scrambled for bogey. Good bogey in the end. Hold about, oh, a, ten, hold about a 10 footer for bogey. <laughs> <laughs> right, so guys, gonna bring you a few shots, and we'll get a bit of a roundup at the end. Finch, you play well, brother. You play well, brother. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome down to the round analysis and as you've just seen there wasn't the most ideal start in the world making bogey down the first but the next few holes start to get very interesting and yeah interesting is probably the right word so as you can see one over through one uh, down the second managed to make a decent two put from a very bad approach shot from inside of 100 yards and that's going to be the theme today so kind of remember that second hole 100 yards out, made a good two putt from a long way away. So that's gonna be a bit of a theme because third hole again, had less than 100 yards, missed the green, made bogeys on two over through three at this point now. And fourth hole again, got up by the green in two, par five, didn't get up and down. So it's two over through four, realistically, I mean, okay, give myself bogey on the last first hole, realistically I should be maximum, at absolute worst, one over par. Then, it was a bit of a disaster. In fact, it was a complete and utter disaster. We walked from the fourth hole, we just played it, and to be honest with you, it's just two mates, go around a golf course, having a chat, having a laugh, enjoying, enjoying ourselves. He, he may be enjoying it more so, at this point he's two under par, and I'm two over par, four behind, through four. And we just get onto the tee, kind of think, right, where do we go here? So every tee has got a little map of the hole. We check the map of the hole, a lot of us clock the massive eight in the top corner, but we we play we play the hole. We both make par, which we're both a little bit disappointed with. It's a bird, very birdieable par four, and we walk off the green to the ninth. This seems like a fantastic time to get the camera out, doesn't it, Pete? <laughs> so we've just played the fourth hole, par five. I think you made a nice little birdie up there. I didn't, and we headed over to the fifth, or what we thought was the fifth. And in fact, played the eighth. Absolute stupidity. Idiots. Literally just got on the hole, just played it. Nice social, <laughs> had a lovely chat, Co buy some sun cream, yeah. up there, a great Co time. Couple of pars, headed over to the next tee and thought, we're not on the ninth already. 
And in fact, we weren't. We were actually looking for the fifth. So we've just phoned in, two shot penalty, and we've just played the fifth. So we both made par up five, two shot penalty, double bogey. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. Now, couple of morons. after a bad start for myself anyway, I've got a real uphill battle. Sixth hole, 289 yards. We need, well, I especially need some birdies. Finchie's just gone back to level par. He's not going to be happy. Right. Here we go. Yes, that wasn't fantastic, was it? That was pretty damn right stupid. So we might both actually manage to birdie seven. You know what? We made birdie. That's one of the two shots. Well, you can never get the two shots back, but that's kind of one back in a weird way. In all our life, we'll never get all that back. That's a, that's a little left. However, I was again in a very good position. I've pulled my tee shot a little bit left, as you've just kind of maybe heard. Um, I had a 50 yards into the green, and I tried to be aggressive because the flag was at the back, but I was too aggressive. It landed on the flag. First bounce was very firm, actually. Very kind of unusual, but very firm. And it just kind of trickled over the back edge, and I just didn't manage to get up and down, which was, again, which is just stupid. Which is really stupid, to be honest with you. So. I'm just kind of hemorrhaging shots. Where I should have been making birdie, I've just made a bogey, so I feel like I actually dropped two shots there. And now I am kind of back to six over par, and it's all a bit scrappy, it's all very messy. Get back onto eight, and thinking, right, okay, we've played this hole, know where I'm going here, we made par last time, let's make birdie this time. Bad drive again, snap up into the left trees, had to chip out, then chip on, and then two putts, make bogey. So now this hole has actually cost me three shots. Three shots has cost us. So I'm actually really struggling now. So four over par, and yeah, not in the best position. Actually, sorry, five over par now, the bogey on eight. So not in a great position. Nine played it really well, 196 yard par three. Put a six iron to around about 12 feet, but didn't manage to get it. Uh, tenth hole, really interesting. The swing. Hey, look at us doing That's down the, the fairway now. I like that. Really narrow looking, especially from where the camera angle is. Anyway, very, very narrow. But I managed to kind of, well, I kind of went for a little bit of a fade, but double crossed it ever so slightly and went down the wrong fairway. But actually, in fact, it was a perfect angle into the green. So, yes, another missed fairway, but I was on a fairway. And straight away, the control I had into the green was perfect. I mean, I hit eight time from 175, slightly downwind, just over the back of the flag, and two put for Eagle. Walking up 11, I'm thinking to myself, I said to Finch, I need to make as many birdies as possible. Again, hit a poor drive down the left-hand side, under the trees, punched a 7 iron from around about 130, through the trees, up onto the green, to this, and I had a really good bird chance of birdie. Well, that works out rather well. Horrible, what that? Nervy. Get on to the next hole, short pitching wedge, par three. Again, put it into a really good position. And as you can see, failed to convert. Again, this is where we're getting a bit of frustration. Walk up the next hole, fantastic birdie put from a different, uh, sorry, I walked up to the next as par five. Just short of the green in two, didn't get up and down, so another missed chance. Next hole made a fantastic birdie from around about four, 35, 40 feet. It was pretty, I mean, I read it almost dead straight. Just kind of set it up on the line quite firm and it was, thankfully it went in. 15th hole was very frustrating. Again, fantastic, actually not say it again. A good drive and found the fairway. 50 yards in, put it to around about 20 feet, which wasn't the best actually. It looked like it was a tighter flag to the front than it actually was. Just missed the putt, a little bit too much pace on it, about four foot past, coming back down the hill, missed it coming back, and that was infuriating. That was really annoying. That was really frustrating. So I feel like I played quite well. I actually feel like I should be back four or five under for the back nine. I'm not. I'm now back to one under for the back nine. Get onto the 16th par three, just punch the nine irons just slightly into the breeze, put it to about six feet. Go anyway, can't go left. And yeah, 
I missed it. So another one missed. Get up 17, decent drive again, just a little cutty shot. The last two drives have been good. That's the shot, mate. Very good. 7 iron from the semi rough, so a little bit uncontrollable again. And I've airmailed the green from 175 and made bogey again. 18, really good tee shot. Just caught the green side bunker. We were about 20 yards short of the green side bunker or so. Right, guys, so walking up 18, got to the ball, short par four. As a lot of them have been, to be honest with you, very, very short golf courses, which makes, makes the score a little bit more frustrating again. Probably one of the hardest shots in golf to finish. That's all I wanted, thank you very much. Be much better back nine. Front nine was just a, just a shocker, to be honest with you. Much better back nine. Missed a few putts for birdie and then just tailed off towards the end. Just bogeyed two of the last three holes, which has been really frustrating. Kind of thought I was going to oh, try and salvage maybe a two or three over from the round, but if I can get up and down now, finish four over. It's not bad considering. We've got a five over front nine with a two shot penalty. <laughs> Cheers mate. <laughs> Off a downhill lie, I was expecting a little bit of release. Yes. Good lad. A little bit of devastated with that guys, held the putt for birdie. So finish four over. Analysis to come. Mixed bag. Stupid mistake to go to the wrong hole. Really frustrating to bogey that hole coming back round again. Lots of missed putts on the back nine. Very scrappy and untidy start to the round. Lots of negatives in terms of my driving again was very very poor. My driving accuracy was really bad. Actually, not really not happy with my driving at the moment. Iron play was good when I was in position. When I was on the fairway, my wedge play was pretty solid as well. It could be better, so I'm going to keep working on it. Big positive today was the putting. Putting was very very good. Much more solid than ever than it's ever been. Really kind of felt like I was going to hold everything when I was on the green. So. Second tournament of the year, not, not a chance to play that many, lots of positives, lots of negatives to take from it and these videos really helped me actually just kind of really go back through my round and just say that could be better, let's go and work on that. So instantly today I've been hitting drivers on my spare time, so just more to come. Open qualifying is in three weeks, got another tournament in two weeks, lots to kind of press on and look forward to in the meantime. Guys, thanks very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this and please stay tuned, please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again very soon.